Welcome back, everyone, to Darren Yanni. Adventures in Sarone Edition, Episode 6, Part 2, where we are going on to save people from a bank robbery. Oh, oh boy. I can't believe. What can't you believe? That we're such shitty heroes. Oh, shoot, I forgot something. Like I'm a great hero, I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> you are totally a great hero, having to be coaxed by Nan Nan to go and follow Metis and Muteki. <laughs> so, so selfless. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm holding on. What am I holding on to? <laughs> water? <laughs> I will hold on to this water. Okay, I'm back. Hey! That's so it a turns nice out cap. Tip it's actually not a cap, so, more of a headband. So it turns out common writer Shin is also nearest to Tim's birthday. Well, well I see. Okay. Uh, my oh, turn? Oh, hello. Hello, dog. Yes, it's it is fuff. your turn. Mm. What are you doing? Hmm. That would be a terrible idea. I go right up to it. I'll bite it. You're going to just straight up bite it. Okay, you roll bite your it. to hit. <laughs> wow. Multi attack biting. This looks familiar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The school of Tarnock. <laughs> the school of Tarnock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. so good, good. DC sixteen, and uh, the hit with the parry. A DC of twenty-one. Gotcha. Alright, so as you chew through these, it seems to gain another wound as sparks begin to fly. From its foot to place. Yes. <laughs> I'm amazed I was able to damage it. Yeah, I'm a little amazed too. But at the same time. <laughs> damage being acquired. It's not uh, people not surrendering to Mind's Edge. Little critter chewing at foot. <laughs> Going into protocol mode. Protocol mode? Yes. Is he going to turn into like a turret or something? Protocol. <laughs> His protocols. Um, oh no. Oh. Function mode. <laughs> Suddenly, from his feet, his chest, his arms, his head, they all open up. And you see a Big old countdown timer. Starting off at 30 seconds. No power bar. Prepare bomb for, for me. annihilation. As he then attacks Duran with a. with a bunch of guns. So, protocol mode. 
protocol mode is to have a timer on you and then you shoot people. Well, it may explode, it may not. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so Duran, as you're holding him, the guns point right at you and fire. What was your um, dodge again? Nine? Say that again, I didn't hear you. What was your dodge again? Was it a nine? nine? Okay. So, I need you to roll toughness. 20. You are dazed and wounded. This multi-attack of an attack was, um... I rolled... I rolled an 18, plus the modifiers that are associated with his damage rank. Or to his two hit. So, you know. What's dazed do again? Dazed means you can only do one action. Okay. Alright, so next up. Oh, and um, everyone gain a hero point. Oh, boy. We're at two We're right at now, two. right? Yes. You are, but then I had to waste mine on a fucking window. <laughs> it's just covering uh, G's wheel completely. <laughs> I, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to hide behind my hero points. Do I get full cover because of my hero points? <laughs> I'll take those off. I know how much I have. Um, <laughs> as it lifts up its leg and power stamps down into the ground. Everyone needs to roll me a dodge. Oh, goody. To see if full oh, effect dead. or not. Yeah, whether or not it's full effect is going to hurt me real bad. I have a negative. <laughs> wow. Even with a 2, you rolled a total of a 21. How do you get that? By, By having fucking up <laughs> fucking toughness entirely. A stiff breeze could, could could knock me over if it could hit me. <laughs> uh, Muteki. Mm-hmm. The ground right underneath you is bursting uh, as well as the walls concave in from this attack. And did you also roll your um, dodge? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Okay, so it looks like the only one not making this is Metis. She's going to take the full brunt of this. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see here. Oh, the fur. And now I need you to roll me your toughnesses. I was going to roll for some reason. Mm-hmm. All right. And Four. once it loads again, because my character sheet crashed briefly. Okay. Seven. I rolled a seven. You rolled a seven, yes. Um, geez, Wheel. Oh, yeah. no. Am I dead? Me, you haven't given me your toughness. I can't tell. Damn it. Here goes. I'm dead. <laughs> me, Techie, rolled a seven. <laughs> Cheesefield got a seven. I rolled an eight. I'm going to spend one of my hero points since I have one of them. Okay. Oh, God, that's worse. <laughs> oh, it's better. It's a 13. <laughs> <laughs> Since the standard damage at like zero is fifteen. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, Muteki, or well, at the very least, Muteki, because I doubt either of them 
are going to want to. Do you want to reroll? <laughs> sorry, what was the sorry? What was that last bit? Do you want to reroll? I do not want to reroll. Great. Okay. So the shockwave comes along, and Yuteki, you are flung back into that room as you take a wound. Cheese wheel. Oh no. You are sent flying this way, but there is a, a small catch here. I die. No. A man like, catches you. I, f- I fly right through this man's chest like a chest burster in reverse. No, right before you actually get anywhere near this man. Mm-hmm. Um there's what looked like a shadowy elephant that had just appeared as it caught you before you could fly. And this guy jumps from the ceiling. What? Well, great. What are you got what are you idiots doing here? Uh, uh who are you? Hi, me? I am none other than the, uh... How do I have this character? <laughs> I am Elephantitis Man. No, no, no. I am the elephant in the room. Hey. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I, am, I am Midnight Creature. Oh and this is my stand, <laughs> Elephant in the Room. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. I am the I am the duck that flaps in the night. I am the elephant fence standing in the room. I am he has the bees on his creature. pants. <laughs> yeah. I Wait, am what? <laughs> I am the wasp nest that infests your front porch. <laughs> Metis stares at him, then looks down at his leg. Sir, are you aware you have bees on your pants? I am indeed. They are quite handy. Do I, did they take any damage from uh, the the initial shock? Oh yes, you definitely did. You are staggered. <laughs> Fuck. Well, at least I'm not f- dead. Um, okay, oh, it's gonna be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Look <staggered>. at that. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I'll have to keep track of this without the without the thing. <laughs> One injury. I mean, I Two hero, well, one hero point. Yeah, you could. And just say I'm tiny. <clears throat> or maybe I could get a giant rat form. <laughs> there you go. You can do your stat stuff. There you go. Look at that mouse. Oops. Neat. Neat. So, as I said, I'm the Midnight Creature. What are you guys doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Why not? Because no one comes to save people just out of the whim, especially not whoever you are. (laughs) <laughs> this guy is especially now that you, fucker over there how do you know we don't do that if you don't know who we are look I've been around the slums enough to know this no guy's one. logic is great <laughs> I know uh, that you uh, haven't been here long who the hell are you I'm Menace Real creative, kid. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Metis makes me so happy on a spiritual level. <laughs> right, okay. So, um, exactly what do you think you're doing? Trying to stop the mean robot? Stabbing the robot's neck. You're doing a... You're, First off, you're doing a bang-up job at trying to stop the robot. Thank you. Not a compliment. (laughs) It's not a compliment to be doing a bang-up job? Oh, no. (laughs) 
I'm not saying that because okay. squeak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> squeak! It's just a squeak from the ground. Second off, you're trying to what? Stop the robot? At, no, it looks at Dor- uh, Darren. I'm going to snap its neck. What? You do realize that just snapping its neck won't stop it. It's not a human. I'll snap it, then burn it, then snap it again. Who are you again? Midnight creature. Get the thing out of here! You remind me of someone I don't like. He thinks he's perfect. He's not. And no one is. Get the thing out of here. It's got a timer on it. Better get it out. I mean, squeak. I was planning on that, but keep telling me what keep telling me what to do, and I'll let you carry it out. Wait, what? I was planning Tim, on I doing that, but keep telling me what to do, and I'll let you carry it out. Tim, I Hello, noticed there's a in your background. Hello, Stella. Goodbye, Stella. Might as well Stella. carry it out. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. I'll carry it out. Your fucking mouse. Mr. Perfecto <laughs> arrives. I'll carry it out, citizens. No. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, what do? Well, for Mr. What's his face is coming over here. I intend to run out with the robots. Funny thing is, this guy's been here the whole time. He was one of the souls you actually ended up uh, detecting. The one that was higher up than everyone else. You can shit. What? Oh, what a dick! <laughs> Muteki has no soul. Oh god. Uh, M- Muteki was outside the perception range. Okay, how how far can I move out? Oh wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. All oh, right, yeah, he's six. with me. But... <gasps> the robot does have a soul. <laughs> no <laughs> meta gaming. Unless there's before. someone in here okay, or in there. Point. Okay, but how far I can I move out with eight. the robot? Um, you can move probably your normal speed. You you got strength eight. Okay. Well, well shouldn't, shouldn't there may be a grapple check first? Well, he's already grappled. Oh, okay. So we probably fast just... grab. Yeah. Go stem your goat cheese, mouse. Wait, no, goat you're a rat. Mouse. Wait, are you a rat or a mouse? I'm just gonna look at him. This is no, this is out of character. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna look at you. I'm just gonna look at you. Are you a man or a mouse? Or a mouse. Thank you, Nick. I both. <laughs> okay, no, but I'm gonna I'm gonna come out side with the robots, and then you said I had one action. Yeah, and that's coming outside with the robot. Oh, moving's an action. Lies. Yes, it's called a movement action. Okay, fine. Hero point. Okay, to get rid of the days, I'm gonna say, so you can have full movement. Yep. Or full action stuff. Get rid of the days, and then... I got it. I'm learning. And then, I'm gonna leap with him over to, uh... Like, do I know of any, like, desolate areas or whatever? Wait, how many seconds is on the clock right now? Well, as of the time that he went into protocol mode, still 30. I can't believe well, we had that entire conversation with the with what's his face in in 0 seconds. Well, it wasn't Maybe it's minutes. Soon, but, but uh let's see. It's gone down to 24 by this point. Okay. When you're leaping. Yeah, I'm going to leap up Really, really freaking high. I'm gonna like put all my fucking strength in this. Okay. Uh, what's your leap rank, and how or how far can you go with your leap? I my leap rank is nine, and I can go a mile and a half. For how many? Uh, I know that seven is the limit for instantaneous travel, so it was. Two extra rounds or something like that to go a mile and a half? 
It says time six seconds. Okay, so it takes one extra round to go that far. Yeah. All right, so one. you're just so basically at the end of your next turn, you're still gonna be traveling your next turn. Yeah, I want to. I want to go towards uh, like the outskirts of the city. Okay. We're heroes. So yeah. yes, you are. What I do, that's what I do. Muteki. So Muteki, having been knocked into this other room, just kind of stands the fuck up. Mm. Oh, and um, I should probably do this for you, man. Since I'm thinking about it. Boop and boop. All right. Because of all the debris. Oh yeah, that's right. This uh, this entire the, like all these rooms have been blown out, haven't they? Yeah. All right. He's still trying to stealth through, admittedly though, and trying to get a good a good bearing as to what's what the hell's happening. By the way. Okay. Roll your stealth. There we go. That is a good stealth. That's much better. Well, it doesn't seem like people are noticing you. Does anyone want to try to notice it? Well, actually, let me... I control that. Does anyone want to try to notice him? Real quick. Alright, so... The mouse notices you, but you... That's about Squeak. it. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing he doesn't know I notice him, even though there's, like, very little... <laughs> if... Yeah, I'm basically just going through to for the last round. If, uh... If and I might ask, actually, as well, um... What, do I recognize this robot? Uh, do you have a knowledge mind's edge or something? Or expertise, I should say? I wouldn't think I would need it, but okay. <laughs> I mean, if I could see him, I could solve this problem very easily, but I haven't noticed him, apparently. Nope, you have not noticed him. I'm too busy no. trying to talk to this other strange they man. The answer is no. You do not recognize the robot. It is a lot newer than what... Uh, since you've woken up recently kind of thing. All right. Well, uh, at the very least, they see Duran is working on that bit there. As and... He jumps away. I'm also trying to get an idea of, like, if anybody else is looking sh shifty at all. At Everyone this point. Everyone looks... Terrified. You'd let me just do this real quick. So you notice <laughs> everyone looks terrified. Your mental capabilities don't notice any hint of um ninja of of ninja deep thoughts. You can always roll insight. Oh, I All right. ninja deep I? thoughts are very specific. Yeah, that's your thing. Remember. Uh, it's investigation. All right. Yeah. So none of these look like or, or seem to indicate to you that they are ninja. <laughs> All right. One of them is a samurai, but doesn't like to talk about it. So <laughs> at the very least, uh, but like I don't see any other other shifty individuals or anyone else in here who is like. At all terrible. Okay. Ah, uh, you just... Uh, you can gather from some of the, um... Surface thoughts on the bank teller and manager over here. Or at the very least, the manager, anyway. That the Mafia's not gonna like this. Hmm. Some of the local gangs are gonna be furious about the events that just transpired here. In that case, I'm just gonna continue to hide in the smoke and sh and dust and shadows and whatnot there, because I have the distinct feeling that this entire exchange is not over yet. Yeah. 
Okay. Yep. Metis? Uh, do I see wounded mouse? It's a very good question. Now, are you attempting to stealth gate? Well, I did just fly a bit and then get catched by an elephant shadow, so no. Okay. I'm just um, standing in the middle of the floor. Yes, you do You do manage to notice little squeaker. Wrong button. This button. That That is the button I wanted. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I boop him. I make some light. <laughs> And I try to heal you. <laughs> I just flashbang his face and then just... <laughs> Here, watch this! Ah! <laughs> you are... Oh, I hope you weren't you, using you are your eyes! Healed. You are the fully healed. Are Holy you okay? Shit. Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine him looking at you. Squeak. <laughs> Oh wow! You don't sound anything like a mouse. <laughs> Christ. Huh? Do all mouse say squeak like that? Yep. I mean squeak. <laughs> <laughs> can Can I have Menace have an insight to see if she realizes this is Cheese Wheel? Okay. Nace is attacking Metis insight. <laughs> I'm attacking with attacking it. with Metis. Attacking with Metis it's insight. The most Ow! Thing in the history. Of <laughs> um. So, so Gate, well, give me a I deception. Said. Oh boy, this is the best. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> you have a hero point. Would you like to reroll? Not for this. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Metis, you completely don't believe him. Wait, are you Cheese Wheel? Uh. <laughs> I pick him up and hug him. It's good to see you again. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's been three days. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it's uh, it's been a while. Where have you been? I got an apartment. That sounds cool. What's an apartment? It's a place that you <laughs> live, kid. I wasn't I asking swear. you. Don't she sticks care. Her I wasn't asking you, Random. <laughs> <Randy. laughs> a little snake thing every, pops every up time. on his sh on his arm and he, it sticks its tongue out back at you. I swear, some of the questions you ask me, Metis, I just get so concerned. Uh, wait, where's the turn order? It's gone. Combat is <gasps> over because Duran took the robot to the sky or something. <clears throat> took it to and the outskirts. And then exploded. Uh, so I might as well turn back into my human form. Do so. I I put him down before he does that. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, now let us give you sight. There you go. Sight beyond sight. I just noticed the robots wearing shorts. I thought yes. that was a skirt. <clears throat> Zoom yeah, in. Yeah, no, again. it looks like a skirt. <laughs> That's a very nice skirt. It's a very pretty skirt. Alright. It's a very pretty robot. Does this mean the robot has a dick? <laughs> or just feels comfortable. <laughs> or just feels comfortable with pants. I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> hey, Nicks. Hey. Does the robot have a dick? How about we focus on the game and not about freaking <laughs> robot sexual <laughs> organs? Isn't that what you're always telling us, Skate? Hey, you yeah. Know we don't talk about robot dicks. I've been, I've been, I've been meaning <laughs> to ask, how's that, how's that Duran <laughs> dragging the robot to the middle of nowhere going? 
Is this going to turn into a hold bad on. freaking not safe for work film? For that. Hold on. For that. Hold on. Yes. Cheese Wheel has all the answers, right? <laughs> okay. Hey, Cheese Wheel. Do you, do you yes. know what the mine's edge is? It's at this point that it, it's at this point <laughs> that as the like cinematically, you would just sort of see like the dust clear, and you just sort of see like Yuteki towering over Metis from behind. <laughs> Do, so, do I know say? what the mind's edge is? Do I have to roll for that? <laughs> uh, no, you have no clue. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't the slightest clue. That's probably a silly organization filled with silly people who do silly things. Like, go into a bank with a robot or something. Just sort of looking down at her and, she, and saying, what did you say? Uh, the robot said it was from the mine's edge or something? He just suddenly, he, he just sudden, uh, suddenly you just, uh, feel a gust of wind as Muteki j leaps after Duran. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, <laughs> friends, I am gone. Yep. I need to create a gust of wind using my psychic powers to be dramatic. Goodbye, friends. I think friends. it was more like the speed. It, it, it was, was his leaping. Speed. <laughs> it was a fart. Very bad fart. Stop reading my mind, Dark! <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that's a thing. So, as Darren takes this thing to the outskirts of the outskirts, because quite literally that's where you guys are doing this whole setting in, is the outskirts. Yeah. <laughs> the outskirted outskirts. Exactly. With the skirt that the robot has. Where there is... Barren nothingness. Um, I'm like, I'm like Piccolo. Here. I know where all the, the it, deserted wastelands are. It was. It's not really deserted wasteland. It's just a field of grass. There's nothing else there. <laughs> wasteland. Not even a tree. <sighs> not even, not a, even a tree. It's it's a meadow. Is there a goat with um, plate armor? No. <laughs> I like the dice rolling sound as if you were trying to decide that. I was. <laughs> I completely was. I rolled a four. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. 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 I thought, oh, I thought someone was calling to me. Okay. <clears throat> oh, he said, damn, yeah. not Tim. <laughs> well, uh,. Speaking while I have your attention, Tim, is that a sword in the background? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a sword. Tim? Tim. What? The sword. sword. Is that a sword? It, the sword in the sword... Where? Oh, Turn. there? Yeah, yeah there. that. That's a sword, yes. <laughs> okay. So. Give it to me. Okay, no, anyway. Your actions are befuddling of what was supposed to end up happening. The robot says to Darren. I have no idea what that means. You shall let me go. Now. Keep talking and I'm going to grab harder. If I will hold you gently and... <laughs> that that is not a recommended action that uh, for you to do. You will blow us all just... up. Oh, so I can do that right now. I do that then. I'm still in the air, right? Uh you are landing on the ground right now. Okay. Then I when I hit the ground, uh I do that. Oh boy. So... Like we're it's it, okay, I, I look around first, like or like I see the area around. Is there like it's it's like that field you said, right? Field. There's a st standalone building right behind you, but it looks rickety and all that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do what he says and blow us both up. <laughs> okay. This might be a good time for Muteki to arrive. Or it's bad a, time. Hold on. First thing. off, first off, I need you to roll me what you're doing. You're just applying the strength, is that it? Yeah, he says if we squeeze harder, I can blow us up. Blow us up. Okay. 
So that's the strength modifier. As a damage effect, essentially. Well, this don't really roll let me re let me re 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 You don't really roll for this. You're, you're... Oh, my bad. Hold, hold, hold it. It's your strength plus 15. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just then... a 23. So, DC yeah. 23. 23. Alright, so as you squeeze, you hear metal creaking and cracking. And, but no, nothing has really happened from this, as Muteki seems to be now falling to land right behind you, Darren. Muteki just, uh, Muteki calls over and says, Cease! What the hell are you doing? Get out of here! He's going to blow! He just, uh, um, so it, it's at this point, it, it's at this point that, um, well... Wasn't aware of that part, actually. He didn't even know the <laughs> countdown was a thing. <laughs> that is true, he didn't. That's what you get for running off without hearing the full explanation. It's at there, this point... There's 12 seconds left. It's at, the, it's at this point that he suddenly calls to Darren and states, That is a Mind's Edge, uh, that is a Mind's Edge automaton. Well, the hunk of metal is going to explode. Now get out of here. He just, uh... Muteki, uh, uh, Muteki nods a little bit, and, uh, and then proceeds to... Sorry, go ahead. We have identified Muteki. Starting oh, no. action protocol. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. So, it doesn't matter what your uh, parry is, as the tentacle-like fingers rush out and grab onto you. So you do not escape. I rolled a nat 20, so... <laughs> Rip and fucking kill me, Techie. It's so, a... Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 go ahead. It's at this point that... Uh, damn it, limited lifting doesn't work in this case. Damn it, okay. You got two hero points. Can that do you anything? I have one hero point. Oh, wait, yeah, you weren't, you weren't there for the... Yeah. As he proceeds to... Well, I, I was no. there, but I used one earlier. Oh. Yeah. All right. So tactile telekinesis won't work very much because that's limited lifting. Um. So I'm gonna try a little thing over on this end, actually. Then lift him. Okay. So I'm gonna do just a straight up strength check first and foremost to try and escape. Okay. To escape, isn't it acrobatics or athletics? Yeah, I would think so. Oh, in that uh, case, grapple has always been yeah. hard for me. In that case, acrobatics. Fuck, I can it's do acrobatics against its strength, right, Niv? I believe. Do on your turn, you can try an escape action roll. Roll either acrobatics or athletics against ten plus the grabber's strength or grab effect. If you succeed, you can you get out of the grab and also get a free move away from the attacker at a minus one rank penalty. Okay. So acrobatics or athletics? Yep, acrobatics. Boom. <laughs> nice. So, you do manage to actually slip out of uh, out of this grapple, this grab that was uh, being done to you with these multiple grabs. Yep. Im important question. Yes. If it's swapped back to fight mode, does that mean that it's no longer going to explode? No, it's still in protocol mode. He proceeds to... M Muteki, no, uh, uh, it's at this point, Muteki probably notices the clock now, right? Yes, you notice the clock. So, Muteki is going... Uh, Muteki's fist starts to glow purple and whatnot as he then turns toward Doran. And... I'm going to go ahead and, and it's at this point as well. He doesn't exactly know Duran's full toughness, so he's going to do this just to be safe. I'm going to use telekinesis on him to throw him as far away from it as I can. Who, Duran? Yes. Oh. Okay, hold on. Are you guys competitively trying to sacrifice yourself? <laughs> I'm not sacrificing myself. <laughs> neither is t neither is Muteki. You're both immortal. <laughs> <laughs> but neither of you <laughs> knows this about each other yet. 
<laughs> Can I use a hero point to like freaking smash my feet in <laughs> and to the ground and just be like, "The hell are you doing, you idiot?" Yuteki is just going going to say, "Allow me to take the blow. I will not die." <laughs> Neither will I. <laughs> He's like three, two. Why are we worried about this one. then? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> suddenly... <laughs> suddenly... It's not an explosion in which you expect. All these little micro-missiles finally launch at, right at both of you, exploding the entire area around you. Oh my god. <laughs> it's time to do a dodge. I think it's do time dodge. to do a dodge. Both of you do dodge. <laughs> this was just a countdown for a little mini nukes to be launched out of it. Twenty-three. <laughs> mini nukes. Yes, mini nukes. Can't be too careful with me, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> this was gonna be in the bank. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> this was again. Uh, this didn't go to plan for the robot, so it went to protocol mode. Okay, mm. so now, both of you give me toughness. Against mini nukes. It Against sure is too bad your team healer isn't there. <laughs> oh, God. So here we go. This is... <laughs> Same roll. Same roll across both of them. That's great. Nice. Do you both die? We're both dead. <laughs> Narratively speaking here, yes, you are both dead. <laughs> As the robot's head flies away, its body is in shambles at your corpses. It's a good thing they're immortal. <laughs> it's a good thing they're immortal. It's a good thing this didn't happen where the one non-immortal party member is. It's unfortunate, but, though. But, <laughs> but... Yes. Metis and... Uh, Metis and uh, Cheese Wheel, as well Hello. as everyone else that's there, including night, uh, Midnight Creature... Sees this little mushroom cloud appear in the distance. Just a little uh, one. It's not. It's not like a major mushroom cloud. Okay, cause like, oh boy, I love me some nuclear fallout. I'll be gone. <laughs> I'm leaving town. Just I don't, don't go to that area. <laughs> world fire. So that's like a tiny mushroom cloud. Is so, okay, so I'm gonna put my thumb up. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to lift my thumb up and see if, uh, you know what I'm doing, right? Mm-hmm. Trying to figure out if see the blast if... is bigger than your thumb, so you need to take shelter. Yeah, is the blast bigger than my thumb? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I just... Is that, is that the way that Muteki and Duran went? Uh, um... <laughs> Yes, that's yep. where your friends went. Looks like <laughs> they're goners. I'll be back in a week, guys. Okay, thanks. I'll be back by tomorrow. <laughs> Metis just looks devastated right now. She doesn't know you guys are immortal. I <laughs> give a, I give a consoling back pat. <laughs> Metis <laughs> clings to you in a hug. And then you're gonna go to Nan, Nan and then she's gonna be like, mm, He's fine, you know. He'll be back in like a day. I've killed him several times. <laughs> you say this, no but she's he's so afraid of her. <laughs> Nan Nanon is ex retired superhero. Uh, and oh, sure. God, yeah. Yuteki's immortality isn't as good. He'll be back in a week. <laughs> See, he he got the earlier version of uh, of the immortality mm -hmm. that was out at. Time like um, immortality nineteen uh, like, like uh, immortality 16. vista while stuff immortality <laughs> Duran's got immor immortality, <laughs> immortality immortality seven immortality <laughs> immortality Sengoku. <laughs> okay, so Miteki's gonna be back in a week. Where Duran's gonna be back in how long? Tomorrow. It, I it takes me a, a day. day. <laughs> a day. 
And you both respond, or basically you both come back to where your bodies lay, right? I would think mine's just like, it's just like just being like oh. burning. It's like, I have it to where it's like burning in green flames and you see like the body reconstructing. Like, <laughs> that sort of thing. Okay. And what about you, Muteki? So, Muteki is currently laying there. His armor's still intact, surprisingly. But... Okay. But uh yeah, no, he 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 dead he fucking dead. Well not dead, but oh he dead. <laughs> he dead. Oh he dead, son. His uh, skin's a, been ripped off. Just a, as a reference, what was the damage? What was what was the damage? The damage itself was a DC of forty. Oh, <laughs> This is kind of one of those not from the uh, the actual villain that you were facing stats. This is from another villain altogether. This is one of those. Oh. It, this is basically the instance where Nace was like, "It's the good thing three of my party members are immortal." <laughs> it's oh geez, um, I like I like that idea. Like um, <laughs> uh, the concept. Okay, carry this uh, attack of mine. And then fire it off. Because you don't have the power level. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Two people I, I met three days ago fucking exploded. And I'm trying to console another person I met three days ago. Uh, the one you were also being blackmailed into watching. Oh no, he's, be he's yeah. been hired to do so. Blackmailed into watching. <laughs> hired into uh, blackmail. Hired into what? Well, he's not really blackmailed because he's been given an ultimatum. He could just give back all the money he took plus interest. Plus interest. Plus interest. That still sounds like blackmail. <laughs> no, you're in debt to me, and you've already <laughs> spent some of the money, and you owe me some interest. Hold on, let me just write you up for you. You need to do stuff for me now. You can either be my enemy or my friend. I prefer a friend. I wonder if I could fight him. I think I'd win. No, he's got area of attacks. You would not win. <laughs> you would not win. No. No. Not with those fucking area attacks, yeah. My, my one among thousands of weaknesses. <laughs> All right, well, including that, cats. That was an interesting end to this all. I, for lack of a better term, I, I expected it to go this way, <sighs> and I am I glad it you did. did. You you played Tim and Dur you played Tim and Dark like a fucking fiddle because you knew. Both of them would do exactly this. <laughs> or at least competitively try to do this. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I didn't care about him sacrificing himself because I figured he had a way out of it. <laughs> Honestly, part of the fun part about playing a character like Metis is intentionally stepping into these GM traps. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, it was Just like... Oh, obviously, it's a bad idea to go alone to the bank. I'm gonna do it! I probably shouldn't tell Muteki that his arch nemesis was here. I'm gonna do it! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. Uh, so I'm probably gonna ask Metis whether or not she wants to go to the orphanage or to the apartment. Because She, do is she does there. have to go to the orphanage to tell Nan Nan. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're headed there. Okay. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, ma'am, but that man is crispy now. <laughs> he, crisp. he is overcooked. Metis, dear. <laughs> I was watching the news about what was going down at the bank. Are you all right? I... <laughs> Uh, there, I there think Duran blew himself up in that sort of mutaki. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you poor, poor child. She, she, she pats you on the shoulder as, um, Why as no you feel. Why will no one give this poor small a hug? <laughs> she gives you a hug. Yes. A nice, big, calming aura hug is what I was going to get into there. <laughs> As she goes, I'm sorry about your friend. Darren will be fine. I've knocked him senseless a few times. He'll be back. But your other friend, I, You've I'm sorry. you him up? In a manner of speaking. <laughs> <laughs> more, the kids, more the kids did. But he came back. Oh. I'm very concerned. I'm gonna hide behind Cheese Wheel. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then. Don't worry, don't worry, dear. Come, come inside. Come inside. I made some more grilled cheeses. <laughs> Cheese wheels of asking permission. <laughs> yeah, go go ahead. I don't think she'll. Uh, you too. You it... too. Come on. Uh, I was gonna. I was gonna go buy a computer. <laughs> you can do that and later. A television and a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> also, some. Uh, also, something other than cheese to eat. <laughs> No, like, I have it that, um, <laughs> that Cheese Wheel, in order to find somewhere to sleep, uh, buys a singular can of SpaghettiOs, eats it, and then turns into a mouse and sleeps inside. Oh, yeah. yeah At least until he bought the apartment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then one day it all changed when he met three immortal beings and a very three rich immortal guy. Being, a, a very rich Frieza guy. <laughs> A fat freezer. Okay. <laughs> you know, just imagine Frieza all fat. Well, I, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff on DeviantArt. Oh, God. Um, no doubt. <laughs> Can we not ever go into that train of thought ever again? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so let me go to DeviantArt. And, no, I'm kidding. It's at this point. It's. I'm gonna make you guys use eye bleach real soon. I. I just. I. You see now. The funny thing is, is that Muteki is probably gonna be dead long enough that they're probably gonna put him in the ground, and he's just gonna wake up and he's gonna be no, like, "No, see, no one would go to where he is because it's so covered in nuclear fallout right now." Yeah, it'll dissipate in a while, but. A week is a bit, just a couple, a bit much. Hours of years. He's okay, just. So but I, I just find the concept funny. I just find the concept funny where it's like they put him in the ground. and He's just sort of like, blah, blah. this shit again. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. Basically, all you got to do is give it about two weeks before someone comes over to absorb all the nuclear fallout. Um, so that it doesn't endanger the uh, rest of the city, give or take. Remember, it's a city filled with powered anything. people. Well, as soon as like like are we time or are we time skipping now? Just to, like skipping over. A week well, I think will the time over skip right at, yep. in the next session. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, thank you all for joining us on Adventures in Saron, where. The we have a couple of idiots so dying. <laughs> this is why Draw likes working alone. I can't you believe see? it. I can't believe Muteki is fucking dead. <laughs> Here's what it would have been an easier solution. Throw it. Throw the robot a distance away. It uh, explodes by itself. Durant's no, see, watched it, enough it cartoons. The problem was that it didn't wind up exploding. It wound up shooting missiles. Oh, and... Point. Duran's watched enough cartoons to where he knows that most robots have rocket boots or jackpats. He has a point. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. Intelligence of a child, but that childlike person watches a lot of cartoons with a lot of children. So, this yeah. explains the orphanage. Yeah. Okay, so how many PowerPoints do we get from Duran and Muteki fucking dying? <laughs> 
considering the nature of the session, one. Yeah. Also, also, um, oh so boy, eight powerpoints. I, I was meaning to ask a mechanics question, actually. Oh. So leaping. Do you think yes. that could apply for wall run jumping as well? There is a specific no. mechanic for wall running. Well, not wall running, walking. just like going, not even walking, just like bouncing between walls. Going like Mario. Oh, it's creating it. Or Persia? You would have to, in my personal opinion, have to combine that with the movement of wall crawling. That mm -hmm. or acrobatics. Yeah. Or acrobatics, yeah. yeah. Okay. More points in intimidation. Okay, so I'm on uh, turns. Until the next time, we'll see you then. Bye. So, bye. bye.